really going to tick some people off of this video. Then don't make the video. Did you know that Jesus Christ didn't die for everyone? No, wait. Don't freak out. He kind of put text across the screen to suggest that. Just watch the whole video. You can still comment and hate on me in the comment section when the video's done. Just wait. No, I cannot. You turn off the comment. Jesus Christ, in John 3.16, what, what does it say in John 3.16? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's not saying everybody on the planet is saved by Christ's death. That's saying whoever believes in Christ's death, whoever believes in Christ is saved. Ah, whoever believes. Dang. Ooh, what's that? He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. <gasps> Whoa! So when we go and we evangelize, and we talk to people, and we say, Hey, Jimmy, I know that you're an atheist, but Christ died for you. It's not true. That application of Christ's death, what Christ did on that cross, that's not applied to the atheist. That's only applied to those who are believers. That salvation is not Jimmy's yet. I'm having trouble understanding why you would make this video. Who is this video for? You say, hey, instead of saying, hey, Christ died for you, say, Christ died so that you could be saved. That implies something more. That implies that he is not saved yet. What? So he needs to be a believer in order to be saved. We gotta remember this, people. Jesus Christ did not die for everybody. He died so that whoever believes will be saved. This is one of the common things that a lot of people who don't like Calvinism... And there it is. This idea that Calvinism is an unbiblical principle because of the elect. This, this thing, something the Bible talks about the elect. In fact, people who are not Calvinists will actually twist scripture to prove prove that the elect is not actually the elect and it's it's quite baffling well for starters if election equaled salvation we would have a bunch of ball worshipers running around in heaven right now damon it should be noted that in calvinism you can't believe until you're regenerated first that makes sense now it makes sense why your presentation of the gospel would sound confusing it's to make them freeze right where they're at Confuse them just enough for God to knock them on the back of the head and then drag them kicking and screaming or unconscious. And then they're saved. Cool.